everybody. I'm not sure I'm live because it says I have um, sorry about that. It says that I have some uh, my storage is full. So I don't know <laughs> if I am live or not. Um, and it seems like my camera is also um, making error here. If I am live or not. There we go. So I'm not going to actually uh, do any reefing right at the moment. I've got a lot of uh, stuff that I've bought and I uh, haven't really had a chance to, um, to tell you or show you what I've got. And uh, so I wanted to do that and then just show you some things that I have in store to make. And um, I'm pretty excited. I may actually stay up late and do some stuff tonight since things seem to be a little calmer for me. So, um, uh, so I went, hey, uh, Cloyd, Kayla tried to call me. Um, so I denied her. So I don't know if she needs to talk to you or not. Yeah, he is a cute dog. So anyway, um, I don't know who's all on. Oh, you're on. If you're on, please say hi, and uh, I got some ribbon today. I ordered ribbon from Kali, and uh, I ordered it probably about um, two to three, probably at least two weeks ago, so um, I don't remember exactly what all I got, so we'll open that up and uh, see what I got. So I went to Old Time Pottery several nights ago, whatever, and um, got some stuff from there. And I got some stuff from Joann's, but the one thing from Old Time Pottery that I just love is, and somebody else got this uh, ribbon also from, I think, Craft Outlet, but this is a, if this is only a five yard roll. So probably what you get from Craft Outlet is 10, um, and I paid $5 for this. So it's not cheap, but I didn't know um, that Craft Outlet had it. And when you see some cute ribbon, sometimes if you wait, you can't, you can't get it. So I'll try and zoom in a little bit so you can see. See if that works. Have to take a little bit of time. See if it shows up. Hi Melody, thanks for joining. There we go. Trying to zoom in a little bit so you can see my truck ribbon that I got. I thought that was super cute. And um, so that'll be a cute. And then they had uh, this plaid, and I thought, wow, this really would match. So I'm trying to do more matching. This would even go with it. Um, and then I also got this orange butterfly. I think it's so darn cute. So sorry about the lighting. Um, normally I'm in my craft area in the basement. We're working on that. So everything is in disarray, including me doing crafts. So I run downstairs, get something, come back upstairs. So it's kind of uh, fun. Maybe not so much. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Yeah, I saw that. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be on long. I'm going to sit down and cut up some stuff. I just wanted to show some things that I got. Um, I got some stuff from Old Time Pottery. Um, so this really cute truck ribbon, I did get two of those. And I noticed that I think Craft Outlet or somewhere has that. So, um, and I did get two of each. So same thing, you would get 10 yards if you actually went to Craft Outlet. And these are only five yards, but... Um, Sometimes you don't find them or they're out of stock, so uh, it was worth the, the risk for me. So I wanted to get some more. I love their fabric mesh there, and they have usually a pretty good supply. I have a couple more of these in the basement already, so I wanted to, because uh, I want to do a few more country-ish um, wreaths. So I wanted to make sure I had those, and I got some of the daisy pink ribbon. So super cute. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this is, I, mean, I don't know, I'm running out of room. I, I really need to get some sold, so hopefully uh, that will uh, be happening soon. Um, but um, I've had a lot of good response, but I haven't had anybody uh, say they wanted one yet. So hopefully soon I got my Etsy shop up, which is good. Um, so that's, uh, if you want to take a look at my Etsy shop, that would be great. And uh, Lisa and like my page, favorite that, and also go to um, my YouTube page. I'm at 75. I need 25 more 
subscribers to my YouTube page. So I uh, uh, so I so I really need 24 subscribers. So I put some stuff out on my page. I'd ask people to share my my uh, page on or my uh, post that I put on my Facebook page. I actually put that under Teresa Wettler. Um, but it's got my, my uh, Wreath Addiction RN post there. So if you would share that to your you know, Facebook page, that would be great. So then that means your friends and family would see that and go and uh, like my, my YouTube page. I appreciate it. So I got some of these. Um, these were, I think, um, actually on sale this time. So I think I got them for 40% off um, at Joann's, but I thought this would add to my stock for uh, Valentine's. So, so uh, and then I got a few more things. I'm going to work on a couple more Easter wreaths tonight. So, um, so I got some stuff here for that and uh, some really, really cute. I just love this. Just love that. Those two ribbons. Just love the colors in them. They're so pretty. And um, I picked up some like mint green and uh, white and then um, I also have the blue and white these are some colors that I don't have and I don't see these a lot so um, I think it was 30% off for this I don't remember because it was a few several days ago whenever I purchased this but you know what I have found and I don't know if anybody else finds that is that um, <laughs> my husband says oh we broke yet pretty close but um, I find that if I don't pick it up when I see it then I can't never find it. I'm thinking I, then I find something or I find that I have a sign that would go perfect with these colors and then I get home and um, or I go back to the store that I saw it at and I can't find it. So I've, uh, I've definitely learned my lesson. I'm, I pick it up whenever I see it and that goes with about anything. I've seen some containers at Home Depot and they, they call them shoebox containers but they were just a little bit wider than what the ones are that you get like at Dollar Tree or even at Walmart. And then when my husband went back, yeah, they were gone. So, um, so anyway, um, so I ordered some um, signs from Walmart too. And um, so I got this cute little sign and I know somebody's already made that, I saw that. I have this cute little one and I'm trying to, uh, to decide you know, I was even looking at, Jonathan gave me a good idea, you know, a good hint. You know, you could do even a, a rail and put rush on it and mesh on it and then do a, something like this. So, because um, the bigger signs sometimes don't look, they kind of overpower the round reefs. So, uh, reef forms, but, you know, uh, just depends on, you know, you just have options. Basically, that's it. So, is what I was thinking is there's options to uh, attach these. Um, I was thinking about this one without doing like the rails, um, attaching the rails to it. So I have to find out where I can get those or if I'm going to make that uh, rail. Um, again, showing my husband what I need. So see if he can make some of those things for me. Um, will be great. So um, the one sign I am going to work on tonight, I saw to cut the mesh. And I may do a live on that this weekend. But um, I have this sign that I got last season. I probably got it from Walmart, it looks like. But it says he is risen. And um, I want to make sure you guys can see that good. And then and it's kind of the rose gold. So I found this at Christmas time. And I know I got this for at least 75% uh, off. So I was pretty excited about this. So I'm going to do uh, ruffles on a round wreath for this one. So I thought this would be really cute. So I just haven't really, and I got some uh, rose gold ribbon too that's not um, seasonal really. So I got two different kinds of, of the mesh. So I have this one and then this one. So I haven't really decided um, which one's gonna go on the bottom and what one's gonna go like as the accent. So I haven't really decided. Thanks for, uh, I don't know if somebody posted my YouTube channel there. But that was nice. Thank you. So, um, anyway, so I have these that I am going to be working on. And then uh, today, I was watching, I'm really bad. Um, you know, I'm a travel nurse or travel RN, uh, hospice nurse. And so I happened to be um, flipping through some of the uh, Facebook posts while I was driving. I know I'm not supposed to do that, but let's not just talk about that. 
let's talk about the fact that I found some really cute uh, tabletop um, like centerpieces and they just used a jar or a can of some sort. So I went to a Dollar General on my way home and I found these. Now I'm not going to use the top, but I thought this could be used for a lot of different things. We're actually going to start seeing if we could do some vinyl. So I thought this would be great to do something a little saying like live, love, or something like that on there. And then those could be attached to a, um, to a wreath um, or something. But I want to get some styrofoam and stick it in here. And I'm going to do one. This is a pink. You can do this for Valentine's Day. And I'm also going to do one for Easter. And I have a ton of picks uh, that, you know, for my uh, wreath so, that so I can do that. So I just saw some really, really cute ones. Um, today on Facebook and uh, on YouTube, so I thought I'm gonna do that. So I also I got me some foam to see if I can squish them in there and, and work on that. I've never done a centerpiece before, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let me show you the other signs that I got. Uh, I got them from several different places. Uh, let's see. This one is still from Walmart. It came in a separate box. I guess they didn't have it. And then I got some from, um, again, this was Walmart also. This is my one. Got my Walmart one. Very cute. And um, I love the colors. I thought the green and white mesh that I got from um, Old Time Pottery would go. So let's see. I got, I think I put all of these together. Let me see if I can figure out who I got from who because I want you to know where I got them from. I have some more signs coming from, um, from I think she's called Doodle Lane. I'll have to look and see. Um, so this one and this one I got from Jane's Front Door, front door Decor. And then I'm going to tell you exactly who I got the other one from because she's new. She just started doing this and someone had told her that I was looking for um, some signs. And so she contacted me and she has some really cute signs and she is so very, very nice. Her name's Janet Cook and she is with, um, I do believe she's called Doodle Lane. I think D O O D L E. I do believe Doodle Lane. I don't remember. Let's see. I was looking for if she had her her um. Let's see. So I'm getting some more from her. I don't see her business name on my invoice. I don't know. She's on my. I'll have to share her um, thing on my on Facebook whenever I find it because uh, she showed up in my feed and she made some really really cute cute signs. So so I got these and I'm going to be uh, making some some wreaths with those too. But she <coughs> I got some really cute spring ones coming from her. Um, in fact, she invoiced me. I just have to get them paid for it. And they came very quickly. Very, very quick. I also have some uh, frame, uh, signs coming from Brenda. I ordered a couple from her. Um, she posted some on a, on a live that she was doing. And one was for dogs. And I can't remember what the other one is. Um, but I think I ordered two of those from her also. So I think I'm really getting set on some signs. So I just have to get to making some some rings, but I tell you what, I don't think you'll ever be set on ribbon. I don't know about anybody else. Is she, um, I don't think I went to an Etsy page. Um, I'll look through that, um, Brenda, and um, post it, share it to my page, um, and that way everybody can see it because she is really, and these were $8, I think. Um, yeah, they were really very inexpensive. And she posted um, one of a birdhouse, and it had some really, really cute um, spring colors on it. But I already have, like, some yellows and oranges, so I asked her if she could make one with that. And a couple days later, there it was, and she had it and asked me if I liked it, and it was done. And then I said yes, and so she invoiced me, and it's on its way. So, pretty excited. 
So this is all the ribbon I got from Pauline. And Pauline has, um, I think it's Pauline.Pauline. Let me look and see about that. I need to be more prepared with that. I don't think it even tells me on this. Um, <clears throat> but hers is, she, you get free shipping if you spend $100. So um, I am very big into the red and white. So I got two of these um, with my sons both being in the military. I do a lot of military. So I have some, but not of all the burlap. So I got some in burlap. So, cause I know I'm gonna be making a couple of burlap signs uh, wreaths with, uh, with that. And then she had, <coughs> excuse me. I was pretty excited about this one. I did a big set. Cause I thought, man, how perfect is it? I don't know if you can see this. Isn't that perfect? Hi, Karen. So I just love this. So I was so excited to use all of this. All right. Thanks, Brenda, for stopping by. I'm going to post that um, Doodle Lane. I think it's Doodle Lane. I'll have to post it. And uh, I'll also share it to our group so that you guys can see it. Um, so anyway, so this is the ribbon that I got. I'm pretty excited about using it. Can you see the colors? There's a bunch of different colors in here. And they're all um, 10 yards, so I'm pretty excited about that. Lots of different ones. This one could go with the orange one that I have bought, so I could use that. Um, and they all go together. Look at this. This will match almost everything in here. So you never have too much ribbon. May have too many signs, but you can never have too much ribbon, right? So um, I was pretty excited about that. The other thing I'm going to do, um, I purchased a couple things um, from Walmart. I want to make, I think I got a grapevine wreath down there, and I'm going to use this and a sign. I haven't figured out what sign and some greenery. I just got this stuff from Walmart because I've never done it before, and I didn't. I don't know what to order online, so I'm very uh, new at that. So, uh, whoops, so sorry. My box hit my, oh, hit my phone, I'm sorry. So, um, anyway, so I have this. I'm gonna be hopping on your live, Brenda. And then, um, I'm back, okay. So, I'm going to do this on a, I have a grapevine uh, form downstairs, so I'm going to practice with that. And then the other thing I'm going to do, probably one more Valentine's, is I got this really super soft, I don't know if they call this like um, chenille or what they call this, uh, this just says snow, I don't know what the, it feels like chenille. So anyway, I got um, a red and a white. I probably should have bought two of each, but I'm gonna wrap one of them and I wanna do, um, I'm gonna wrap the hearts. I saw somebody do that and they kind of floated them together. So I am gonna try that. So that's the other one last Valentine's thing I'm gonna try. And pretty much that's it. I got a uh, glue skillet, that's over there. I have to open up that yet. But I just wanted to hop on, say hi to everybody and thanks for everybody. Uh, liking my or uh, subscribing to my YouTube page. I really appreciate it. I need 25 more subscribers. So if you would please, please, please share my video and um, send people to my YouTube page, I greatly appreciate it. And I'm on Etsy. My wreaths are on Etsy. I think everyone except for probably the St. Patrick's Day ones are on Etsy right now. I haven't, um, haven't posted my St. Patrick's Day ones. Um, I did have a couple people interested right here locally, so I hadn't posted them yet, but those that's next. So thank you again for everybody for, for all your support for Wreath Addiction RN. Um, I really, really, really appreciate it. I appreciate all the positive feedback that I get, and uh, I will get better. I will get more organized. I'm hoping to get my <coughs> craft area set up so that I'm prepared, <coughs> excuse me, and I can have my stuff ready and do a wreath from uh, start to finish. So thanks everybody. Have a good night. Bye.